Hello, and welcome to the fifth in my series of videos that I call Proverbially Speaking. And these are reflections on verses from the book of Proverbs. They are my thoughts, and hopefully by listening to them, you may get a thoughts of your own, and it may help you in your walk through being a Christian. If you like these videos, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the Northfield Church of Christ so that you may be alerted as to streaming of our Sunday morning Bible studies, our Sunday morning worship services, as well as videos put out by our brother Mark for Sunday evening as an additional worship service. All these are available on our YouTube page. So before I get started, let me say a prayer to get my mind set. Our loving and kind Father, we thank you for the grace you bestow upon your children and the patience that you bestow upon all of us. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. So the verse today is actually a series of verses that I'm going to look at. It's from Proverbs 23. And I'm looking to look at verses 1 through 5. When you sit down to dine with a ruler, consider carefully what is before you. And put a knife to your throat if you're a man of great appetite. Do not desire his delicacies, for it is deceptive food. Do not weary yourself to gain wealth. Cease from your consideration of it. When you set your eyes on it, it is gone. For wealth certainly makes itself wings, like an eagle that flies towards the heavens. So the message here is not one that I really need to cover for you, since I'm sure you've heard it before as a Christian, and it's the temptations of wealth and power, and how those things can take us away from God. However, what really struck me here in these verses was that line, and put a knife to your throat if you're a man of great appetite. How striking is that? The appeal of wealth is very tempting. And though we've heard this message, I'm sure all of us have been tempted by that. And it's hard not to be tempted. We have a great appetite for, for wealth in this material world. So Solomon's message here that we should be putting a knife to our throat gives us a sharp pain of reality. You know, this is something that our lives can go away. And he equates that with wealth. We gorge, we gorge, but it's an emptiness. How many people of great wealth have you seen that aren't? much happier than we are and maybe a lot less happier than we are so that wealth can fly away just like our lives can fly away and and that's what struck me and i thought that's a good way to to keep us strong in thinking and realizing how wealth can be something that we need to avoid remember your mortality remember that greed and what we our greedy four can fly away from us like an eagle. So those are my thoughts today. I hope they brought some reflections to you in this idea. Thank you for watching this video.